welcome to the video guys, this should just be a short one, but I thought it was important to point out, because the BBC and essentially every other media organisation has now been found out to be the biased anti-Tory, anti-government, anti-Brexit smear merchants that we have always known them to be. You may have heard in the last couple of days that the Northern Ireland executive has agreed to lift more lockdown measures as is reported here by the BBC. Groups of up to six people who do not share a household in Northern Ireland will be allowed to meet outdoors, the executive has said. So much more than Boris Johnson's easing of restrictions here in the rest of the UK, which has essentially just meant England for the last couple of months. Because we have seen up in Scotland, for instance, the SNP and Nicola Sturgeon playing party politics with this situation. Always waiting until a couple of days after Boris Johnson announces something for her to go and do similar. Which is what we have seen currently with them easing their lockdown from the 28th of May instead of when Boris Johnson did it. Because for once I suppose she actually has power and maybe she likes it a little bit. Ministers have agreed to ease more lockdown restrictions as part of the first step of their recovery plan, so long as social distancing is followed. Garden centres and recycling centres have been allowed to reopen, churches and places of worship can open for private prayer, and some sports, such as golf and tennis, can restart. So, pretty much similar to what was in the UK, though I think the churches and places of worship is a little bit more than here, I might be wrong. Driving church services and driving cinemas as well as driving concerts will also be permitted, which I'm sure is more than currently is allowed in the rest of the UK. First Minister Arlene Foster said the executive did not agree to allow people to visit immediate family indoors where social distancing is possible, even though it is included in step one of the pathway to recovery plan. So they still can't meet family indoors, but they can meet six people from outside of their house, which, like I said, is a lot more than here. And I'm sure you will notice so far in this BBC article, not once have they said, like they have about the Tory government, that releasing the lockdown makes them genocidal maniacs who are putting the economy before, obviously, people's lives. Which we all know is complete nonsense, but I'm sure you've all seen it. Every media organisation has been guilty of it over the last couple of weeks and months. Take a look at how many Labour activists have been on the mainstream media recently, shit-talking the Tories for doing exactly what the Northern Ireland Assembly is doing here, even less so. But of course, when the Northern Ireland Assembly or Scotland or Wales or anyone else for that matter relaxes a lockdown, it's perfectly fine with the mainstream media. But if the UK government or Boris Johnson announces anything even lightly lifting the lockdown, then the media loses its collective shit. Which you can see here, and I'm not going to bother reading any more, you get the point of this article. Not once have they actually said anything about the Northern Irish government putting the economy before lives and calling them, like I said, a genocidal maniac, which is essentially what multiple media organisations are trying to infer about Boris. And look here, we have the same from The Sun, I'm not going to bother reading it like I said. Groups of up to six people from different households can meet outdoors in Northern Ireland as coronavirus lockdown eased. But, as with the last article, not a single word condemning what they're doing. And finally, here we have ITV. One of the most die-hard against Boris Johnson and the Tory government broadcasters that there is. Lockdown eases in Northern Ireland as further relaxations announced. As you can see, they're literally just pointing out what we've already read through in the other article. Deputy First Minister Michelle O'Neill added that a graduate medical school would be opened at London Derry's McGee College. The only step in phase one of Stormont's exit plan that ministers have not yet signed off is indoor visits to immediate family members. The reason we haven't been able to move to indoor coming together of families is down to the medical advice, Mrs Foster explained. We are told that outdoor activities are able to be accommodated because the virus doesn't spread as easily outdoors as indoors. And so we have been told that we will revisit this issue again and we will. It will be kept under constant review. 
And here we have there some other stuff. There's no point in reading through it. Like I said, it's just a short video to point out the utter hypocrisy of the mainstream media. Boris Johnson's relaxations were nowhere near the level of the Northern Ireland Assembly. But according to the media, that is perfectly fine. It's only Boris Johnson who is in line to be attacked whenever he does something that the media disagrees with which, to be honest, happens to be everything. They find a way to be outraged about absolutely everything he does, which is a return to how they acted when he was elected as the Conservative leader last year. Now, before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming-related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below, and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.